Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a wild few days or even a week maybe. I'm not sure where I left off the last Australia vlog, but we've actually got a week left here and I have some catching up to do. That washing machine is really annoying in the background. Basically, we're currently stuck in Airlie Beach because there is like a flood. There's been almost a cyclone here or people are saying it's a cyclone. I'm not really sure on the technical term. We had our Whit Sunday's boat tour I didn't really vlog anything. It basically rained like the whole time. It was really fun though. But yeah, we've been stuck in Airlie Beach. Me and Eve actually got a hotel because we didn't know how long we we're staying here. I've just had like a rough few days and I wanted like a bath and a washing machine and a little bit of like home comfort. And it wasn't actually that much more expensive than the hostels. Some of our friends actually are in an apartment that's literally like a few minutes down the road, which is really, really nice too. Some of our friends we met like on the boat tour. So today is just a day of sorting out what we're gonna do like coming up with a plan we can't decide whether we want to go to Cairns anyway even if it's gonna be bad weather and like risk the weather to go because we have like the Great Barrier Reef like we'd be there for like four days maybe and it should be incredible or whether to just go straight to Sydney and hope that the weather is as amazing there as it has been try to our skydive and try explore a little bit more there because I've loved Sydney like a lot when we, we were there for like a few days and I really really enjoyed it I'm gonna show you guys the hotel because it's actually really really nice I think it's called like Club Wintham Hotel, something like that. It's a bit of a mess because we're sorting out our suitcases and we've got a lot of washing that we're doing right now. So, okay, it's actually a really big mess. Anyway, you come in and we have a kitchen. I've actually had to wash my salamons and I'm really upset. We had to take them off and like leave them with the boat people. And when they gave them back, they were literally soaking wet and they stunk of like boat and like dampness. If you guys have ever done this boat trip or like a boat trip similar where it's rained loads, you'll know the smell it's honestly repulsive yeah they like just sunk basically so i had to like wash them and i'm trying to dry them out and stuff the rest of the hotel let me show you you already filmed your ad hey first time on ad <laughs> um this is the living room we've got a really nice sofa area it's actually like a tv and then very quickly our bed is literally massive it's incredible Best bed ever. honestly because both of us like to just like spread out yeah, as well there's so much night, space I, I thought that you were someone else and I, I realized i was like i was getting really cold so i was going like that and then i realized it was you and i was like oh my god but then in my brain i like didn't like didn't move i just stayed out <laughs> So <laughs> um, and then this I is. I think I was like stroking your like leg like this or something. I did not feel that. <laughs> this is the bathroom and it's like wet because the jets have just gone off crazy. Gone off crazy. We have like a jacuzzi bar. This is literally like incredible. I'm telling you, it was like a hose pipe. We were slashed <laughs> against there, all down there. And I was on FaceTime and I was like, oh my god, I have to show you like what that was. And I did it again. Oh no. Like, We've actually got two sinks as well so i've actually spotted something else that i can probably wash it's so nice because we actually have like a washing machine and like if you guys have traveled you'll know the feeling of just like clothes that aren't clean or like a damp or like smell like the sea it's honestly such like a nice feeling getting to like wash them and everything so i've got a few washes going on now it's been a weird couple days so i thought i would just like catch you up i'm gonna pack up my bag now because my stuff is just everywhere just in case we last minute decide that we need to like go to sydney tomorrow or something like that like we just haven't decided what we want to do if you guys are traveling or just for when you go on holiday buy packing cubes from amazon they have literally changed my life and they're so good like for when you're going on holiday whatever because you can literally just pack like tops in one cube i don't know skirts and trousers in one like it's honestly life-changing because then you can just stack it all in your suitcase and it goes perfectly you know where everything is anyway i'm gonna get on with sort of packing up my suitcase and i'll bring you guys with what we get up to evie's just suggested we get tattoos <laughs> we'll see if that happens we actually got one the other day did a vlog on it mine says paradise but i was worried it was gonna heal badly because um this needs a wash but i'm scared to wash it in these washing machines in case i shrink it or something yeah i was scared that my tattoo was gonna get ruined because i had it in the sea loads and you're really not supposed to do that when you get a tattoo but i was like oh fuck it i'm on holiday and i want to get a tattoo so <laughs> oh my god guys i got these leggings i don't know if i showed them in the last vlog if they sell them in uniqlo at home i'm gonna be so happy and buy a million pairs i'm obsessed with them they're so comfortable they fit so well they're so soft what else do i need to wash i just want to wash everything so it's so clean and nice oh those stink it's just like a i can't even explain the smell it's so distinct it's like traveling 
it's not nice. So guys, we're just in town. We just got our nails done, although I got mine done and then the original color was just really weird. It was like this muddy white color and the woman was like, I'm not happy with this. And I was like, me neither really. Yeah, it was really nice that she said. I came over, I looked at it and I was like. <laughs> it was I so weird. Pound, like, I would have <laughs> wanted money in compensation for how bad it was. It was like all split and like. It was really, it was really weird because she suggested it to me. She was like, okay, I'll just she do was it like, again. Yeah, I'm not happy with that either. Yeah. And I like mentally prepared to just not say anything and just leave with nails I hated again. Anyway, so then I just was like, okay, I'm not going to try a colour. And I literally just got this like clear pinky. Anyway. Ooh, I'm that's that. Oh, if he wants to go in the shop, we'll go have a look and then we're actually got karaoke tonight. And we're making dinner with our friends. Oh yeah, and we're gonna be and making drink. dinner. Let's have a look. It's just cute as fuck. So guys, it's a little bit later. Um, Evie's just having a nap. Well, actually, I think she's just woken up. I'm just sat, like, journaling. Um, I'm just not feeling 100% like it's been. Like, travelling is really exhausting, and it's, like, a difficult thing. Like, especially us being trapped here and stuff. It's just been a weird few days, and, um, I'm missing my nan's funeral. T -t -t like, it would be today. It's, like, the morning right now in England, and, like, obviously, it's just so difficult not being there and, like, being able to be with my family. I'm just finding it really, really hard. It's just a weird feeling knowing that I'm like on the other side. I'm not trying to zoom in. <laughs> just a weird feeling knowing that I'm on like the other side of the world and like so far away from everyone. And like I said, I got this journal from Typo. And I actually got these, which I'm gonna put like in my journal, like some stickers from Early Beach. Dolphin stickers, Fraser Island. I've got so many early beach ones because I've been here so long. I just keep buying them at random shop. And then like a bunch of postcards. I did get a bunch to write to for my boyfriend and send them, but I actually haven't found a post office. I wrote some postcards and I've just lost them totally. I have no idea where they are. Yeah, like I said, karaoke later. So I'm gonna film that and it'll be a nice like distraction because it is really hard not being at home right now like it's one of those occasions obviously you want to be with your family and i'm like 30 hours away on the other side of the world stuck in a flood it's like not the most comforting thing that's why i'm so so glad that we decided to book the hotel because it's like a really nice space like just whilst we're stuck here it's nice to have somewhere that we can wash our clothes and it's like have a nice bath and just like relax for a little bit but yeah i just thought i would update you guys there's loads of highs and lows when you're traveling as well like it's an interesting experience i don't know how people do it for like years at a time it's crazy like maybe i'm just a homebody also we booked <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i think we booked a massage for tomorrow but basically we went in and this woman was like whispering to us and she was so animated and it was making me laugh <laughs> and she was like this she was like this like pretending to laugh and i was like oh my god like you know when you can't laugh in a situation she asked us to be quiet because like there was someone getting a massage so you know when you're like not allowed to laugh and you like laugh and like you're just not supposed to i was actually panicking because i was like i can't laugh i can't laugh i had to pretend i needed to cough and i like went outside and <laughs> it was just so awkward so some time has passed i've had dinner <laughs> and got ready i did my makeup in literally like 30 seconds it's so great because i'm tan i just feel significantly better about myself so i um don't feel like putting loads of makeup on and stuff anyway i'm wearing this top i don't even know where i got this oh i bought it in copenhagen and i actually almost didn't buy it and i'm glad i did because i love it and then this skirt from cotton on yeah this is the score i love it it's just really comfortable i really want to get it in more colors because so comfortable i just look like an idiot wearing birkenstocks but what are you gonna do and we're gonna venture out into the rain to the wall you already know what time it is Silent. <laughs> So guys, it's the next day. I'm not feeling particularly
perfectly fresh. It's about like quarter to 11. As you can see, we did karaoke last night and it was so much fun. Like we met up with like all of the girls that we did the boat trip with. I got pretty drunk. I don't know how. I guess I had a lot to drink. I was only drinking Malibu though. I guess a lot of doubles. I don't know. It was so much fun though. And we did, like I said, karaoke. We sang Dancing Queen. Basically, our friend Belly like signed us up to sing Best I Ever Had, even I know like all the lyrics to that. And then we were so nervous. I was literally so nervous. I felt sick for like an hour and a half until the woman said like, if our song's not, if the song's not on the list, then we're going to skip it and we're not going to play it. And I realised our song wasn't on the list. So I'd just been nervous for like so long for no reason at all because they weren't playing it. So we decided to go on with our friends and do Dancing Queen, which was really fun. We've actually worked out a way to get out of here to go to Cairns, which is a relief. So we're getting a bus in the morning tomorrow and it works out perfectly because we've actually only booked this hotel for four nights and tonight's our fourth night. Tomorrow morning at 9.50, we're gonna get our first bus. It's like five hours and then there's a second bus. It's like another five hours. And then we're just, yeah, sorting everything out. We've actually rearranged our skydive. So that's terrifying. We're just on the way to get um, a massage, which is really nice. But honestly, that was probably the funnest night I've had like the whole time being here. Feeling significantly better than I did yesterday. We just had a massage. It was so good. This is terrible. I feel so sad. So we're back at the hotel and I'm going to be making some pasta. We're literally going to have pesto pasta with sweet corn and I got really nice parmesan. It's like probably shaved parmesan because last time we had really like, it was really weird, it was really like crunchy and not nice. So one thing about like the places that we visited is the food hasn't been that great. Like it was good in Sydney, kind of miss food at home. So it's actually really nice to be able to cook our own food and like have something nice and fresh. I think the plan is to have some lunch and then sort of pack up a bit, go by the pool, chill around the pool and sort of get ready. Like we've been chilling the last few days and it's been really nice, like I said. I've like found the last few days quite difficult for different reasons. So I just feel pretty like emotionally tired. But I think we bumped into our friends and they're going to go see some like Toad's race or something. So I don't know, we might go and like join them later on in the evening. So guys, we're now in Cairns and we're actually on Green Island. Look at the sea right now. It is so pretty here. So we are going to have like a little explore around the island and then at 10.30 we have like an open boat tour. What's it called? Open I was thinking that, that was called as well. What is it? A glass bottom boat tour. Oh, glass bottom boat tour. And then the sno my camera's steaming up and then we're actually gonna see this like crocodile show later, which is terrifying. The onto the next enclosure. Lurking on the wall. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. Oh my so god. So far. Oh, 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 We're at this creek and everyone's jumping in. Got this! Woo! Making jokes about us taking photos. Embarrassing. Oh, that was a good one. Got a little bit. Yay! <laughs> so, guys, that was the end of my last Australia vlog. This one was a lot more chilled, but I didn't want to like not upload it because there were still fun memories. And also, like, I wanted to kind of show that it wasn't all like this crazy experience. Like, I had some low points too. I had some family stuff that I went through. But honestly, it was an incredible trip. So amazing. And I just want to say a massive thank you to my adventure project again because it, it wouldn't have been possible without them organizing the whole trip. It was it was just insane. Just a crazy experience. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm really excited because I actually already have a weekly vlog edited and ready to go next week. I've been trying to make a really big effort to just bring my camera with everything that I do and get into the hang of vlogging again. So hopefully I will be uploading weekly because I've been really missing it. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog and I will see you next week with a new one. Mwah.